I'm David Evans. I'm a professor in health services research with a focus on public involvement. And I'm the lead on public involvement for this group of networks around health and social care research and service improvement. And we've organized this event at Fry's Club in Canesham today to really get a strong public voice in our new arrangements for patient public involvement across these new networks which have been set up. I'm Julie Thomas, Director of Development at the West of England Academic Health Science Network. Really pleased to have been here today at this Patient and Public Involvement Day where we've been working with patients and public on how we can make sure that we're using their input and their expertise into various parts of the landscape across health, research and so on. Today we had about 70 people in roundtable discussions. We had eight tables of people discussing three key issues that we wanted to get really strong public involvement around. So we're setting up a new um, patient public involvement strategy group, which is going to work across these five or so umbrella networks. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we had the right purpose. So we thought we knew what the purpose of the group was from the organization's perspective, but we wanted to get the members of the public, patients, carers, service users, to have their input into what the purpose of the organization is so that it's got a bottom-up agenda as well as a top-down agenda. Uh, the second thing is we wanted to think about how do we actually get the right membership of the group because we're covering the whole of the West of England. That's over 50 NHS and health and social care organizations and hundreds of patient service user groups. So how can we have a group that is small enough to be effective as a working group but big enough so that it actually is inclusive of the range of different patients and members of the public who've got an interest in what we're doing. So we had some really good discussions around that. And the third thing we wanted to think about was how do we communicate back out to the public? How do we engage the wider public and let them know what we're doing and what these new networks have been set up to do? My name is Joe Norman. I'm chair of the Southwest Cancer User Involvement Group. I'm here today because research and the results from research are very important uh, in improving patient care. Uh, our members are particularly concerned to improve the patient journey for cancer patients and that's closely related to the patient journey for all patients. So uh, we want to see good research uh, findings being fed through quickly into clinical practice and that is a matter not just of persuading the clinicians but also the commissioners and of trying to uh, persuade all concerned to take real note of the impact on patients. So I'm very pleased by what we've seen today. Uh, I think the research organisations have taken it on board to, to work together to to harmonise what they're doing and avoid the overlaps and produce real results in speeding up the uh, getting of research answers into improvements for patients. Do we know approximately how many there are like lay people like myself who come along to these sort of meetings who are at the receiving end? I know we all are mm. potentially at the receiving end. We're all potential. But, so we're all potential patients, but do we know how many people of the, the public, lay people like myself, who come along to these meetings to put an opinion across mm. and to, to say what we would like to have as a service compared, as opposed to professional people like yourself who say this would work, this would work, but haven't been at the receiving end of it. I'm Kay Stimson, we're just a member of the public who's interested in healthcare. We were originally involved in a public involvement group for the major hospital, major acute hospital. We sat on that for probably, I would say, a couple of years, at the end of which we felt quite disenchanted by it. We felt it was a tick box exercise that they listened to us, but they weren't really going to take any notice. They were going to do what they wanted to do. Um, so for that reason, we lost a little bit of interest. But having come to this meeting today, I feel that over the few years they have learnt a lot, they've listened a lot, and I feel that this group will take on board what we do say at these meetings, and not just pass us over and a tick box exercise. 
people involved in Rainbow Well, my name's Tara Mystery, and I'm here because I've been involved in a number of user groups. I've been an active patient, and more, more recently, um, I've been, I'm a lay member on the clinical commissioning group uh, in, involved in patient uh, involvement. Ultimately, uh, whatever we do today needs to have a really effective um, outcome for patients. And if we can make that happen through communicating better or working better or more efficiently, then that, that's all well and good and that's why I'm here. My name is Patsy Stadden um, and um, I came here today because um, my big area of interest um, is changing the way that women's alcohol use is treated when it becomes a problem. And currently I'm running a project in Bristol to help women with alcohol issues, but from a very different perspective. And I wanted to make sure today that these different perspectives were going to be covered and that they weren't going to be forgotten. I thought today went really well. Um, all the participants engaged really fully. As soon as we broke into the small group work, there was an incredible buzz in the room. Uh, but we've captured all of people's really creative ideas about how to make this work. And there were some very strong messages about people wanting something which was fast, responsive, that we really got public voice into the decision making in the organization, that we didn't just set up another bureaucratic committee, uh, and that we thought really creatively outside the box on how to uh, enable public patient voice to influence the decisions we were making in a quick and responsive way.